these independent stores, do they uh, do they have on, do they have online distribution deals? I mean, how do they do they do they have an online presence as well? All of them have a big online presence. They right. just don't sell digital music yet. The, they, the, the barrier to entry for selling digital music is astounding. Hmm. You, you, we're, hmm. I'm in the middle of it right now. I'm uh. trying to open 45 digital stores in the first quarter where we act as the central, you know, you got to go get a license. Okay. And you got to get a get license, license with 20 to 50 companies and you got to pay a lawyer to do it. And each license costs you a bunch of money because when, when you go to a, a, a distributor okay. and you say, I want to license your digital catalog, they're okay. like, great, let's do it. It takes three months. It takes thousands of dollars in legal fees. Huh. And they hand you a, you know, a, a one terabyte hard drive that you got to go hook into your server. And they want you to pay for that because it costs them money to do it. So there's ingestion fees. Huh. Uh, with so who are you? Who are you paying? Are you working with a label? Or are you yeah. working? So you do you do it on a label to label basis, and you have distributor to distributor to distributor. Okay. Uh, you know, like you know, Sony distributes Columbia and Epic and all the red labels, and Warner has Warner Brothers and Atlantic, but they have all the ADA labels, and these are all you know. So they control the digital rights on hundreds of labels. Okay. So you go to that one guy, so, okay. and you can get hundreds of labels at a time. Hmm. But you got to deal with. But their, you have to deal with that one guy. You got to deal you, with their huh. business affairs people, huh. and then suck their content in. And they may want, you know, you may suck in three hundred thousand songs, and they may want fifty cents a song for ingestion. I mean, you may just, pay huh. hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get your digital catalog, just so you it. can start selling it. Wow. So we're we're working very closely with a lot of uh, really forward thinking. Uh, uh, web guys now that are helping us have digital stores and we mm -hmm. should have those up and running and we're very anti-DRM so mm -hmm. we're only going to mm -hmm. sell high quality MP3s mm -hmm. just getting through the the process and do you know that Amazon is the only online store where you can put a CD and a download in your shopping basket at the same time like you go to Amazon and you are look are you serious? Yeah. You look huh. at, you know. Well, I mean, DRM is the reason why I don't shop online for things. So, you know, I, I wouldn't know well, that. They don't that sell DRM. Like, they sell right, right, no, MP3s. Right, 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 right. But what we found limiting is we can all get a download store, mm -hmm. but we have to also have a separate physical selling store online. Right. So if you, you want to buy a CD home. from me, you got to go to this store. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy a download from me, you got to mm -hmm. go to that store because the... Uh, the record labels have never made the SKUs match each other. Hmm. It's crazy. Hmm. So, okay, but when you're dealing with uh, when you're dealing with a label, and say you wanted to, you, you're trying to, you, you're opening how many how many digital stores you want to open? Forty five. Forty five. And, and so they, these are going to be genre basic, specific. Or no, no, these no. These are going to be. Each of my guys gets their own store. Got it. Okay, like so Twist and Shout in Denver will have a digital store. Okay. Lou's in Encinitas, California, and Looney Tunes in Long Island. They'll all have a digital store that they can control and customize. Right. And so it. then you can go and, and you I'll be the guy behind the scenes right. creating the pool of music that they're drawing from. I got that. And we're we're spending a lot of time getting ex exclusives mm -hmm. and a lot of exclusive music mm -hmm. for our record stores. We've put out over 200 releases in the past three years. Hmm that Ave and Art, all of them, basically, where, you know, everything from Pearl Jam live at Easy Streets to Toots and the Maytals live at, at uh, uh, Music Millennium. Uh, we, we, we record a lot of our in-store performances mm -hmm. and get those put out mm -hmm. in, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in physical form now. Uh, so we're doing more and more and more of that. I've got a Ben Harper uh, DVD CD coming out in about two weeks. It's really, right. really amazing. Uh, Paul McCartney live at Amoeba. We're releasing uh, uh, next Tuesday. All right. So we're we're spending a lot of time getting things that are unique to us. Uh -huh. Well, so then if you if you're if you're going to a distributor and you say you want you say you want content, but you only want you're only looking for certain people. Say you're only looking for certain artists for your genre specific site. Would they try to unload a whole bunch of other stuff on you? Or we, we I mean, go, is, there any, just, is there any way to? And, I mean, because it sounds like it's all it them. sounds like it's all or nothing. It sounds like it's oh, like, you're talking about you know on, the, I mean? on the on the digital goods. On the, on the, yeah, on the on you know in terms of trying to get content for a site because I mean you no one... you feature what you want to feature. Mm -hmm. You know if but you, you still have to but if you have to pay fifty cents for all these songs that you're not even trying to sell. Some people let you cherry pick, some don't. It just okay. depends on the company. You. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, different content companies are very different. Mm -hmm. You know, and some labels, 
even in the, on the, the very indie side, there's some aggregators of labels that you have to take everything because mm -hmm. They that's their deal with the labels because they they don't want you to be able to cherry pick mm -hmm. and I I, I think yeah. cherry picking is a great way to go yeah <laughs> yeah well, I mean it's, <laughs> that's what we do also, our, that's what we do in our physical stores right and then you, right and then so you should be able to do it in the digital sense I mean there's so much content out there I mean Man, really the issue the issue you ought to is be a that, lawyer if you believe all that <laughs> well I mean the you know the the issue is that there's so much content out there and so it's hard to organize it it's hard to kind of get you know, to navigate all that content. And so that's what's good about a, a digital, I mean, a, a physical store is you can go through and, you know what I mean, you can you Especially can a good physical but. store that knows you and your taste. And, right, well, and, I mean, but a good digital, things. can a good digital store do that exact same yeah, thing? Yeah, go to other. We have, I know we yeah. haven't hit, hit it yet. But yeah, I mean, go to other music. If you want to see uh, a store that's uh, probably the size of a dorm room in New York City, that has one of the best online digital stores I've ever seen. Hmm. And they've cherry picked and they've done a great job of organizing that for their fans. And hmm. more and more of these are coming up. And, you know, uh, they're, you know, what, the way we're going to do it is you put all this repository of music in there and everything's available. It's how you choose to present it to the customer mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. He can search mm -hmm. and maybe pull up something that we've never even sold before but really we're going to drive them to specific things mm -hmm. through blogs and mm -hmm. you know through mm -hmm. what we normally do which mm -hmm. is act as a filter for mm -hmm. those you know customers of that store we're going to make recommendations mm -hmm. and you'll go directly to that product page and download it you're not going to be doing a lot of searching and pecking mm -hmm. we're going to mm -hmm. tell you what to buy mm -hmm. just like we do now mm -hmm. and that's kind of a strategy mm -hmm. hope it works <laughs> yeah